Welcome, 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 beautiful Paris Saint-Germain family. In today's video, I'll be looking at the stat leaders from Paris Saint-Germain in the 2023-2024 season. First one to look at is minutes played. And last season, it was Gianluigi Donnarumma and Despa, obviously. It's not hard to guess. It's Kylian Mbappé with over 2,600 minutes. Now we're looking at goal score then. Once again, not hard to guess. Kylian Mbappé was the highest goal scorer last season. And is the highest goal scorer once again. Shots taken. Correct guess. Kylian Mbappé last season and Kylian Mbappé this season. Shots on target. Kylian Mbappé last season and Kylian Mbappé this season. Now we're going to take a look at some more playmaking winger number 10 stats. The first one is assists made. And last season, obviously, it was Lionel Messi. And this season, it's Osman Dembele. Key passes, last season Messi. This season, Osman Dembele. Not creating actions, last season Messi. This season, Osman Dembele. Dribbles completed, last season Messi. This season, Kylian Mbappé. And dribble success rate with at least 50 dribbles completed. Messi last season and Kylian Mbappé this season. Now we're going to take a look at, at the passing game. Obviously, Marco Verratti left us and he was a previous stat leader when it comes to passes made. But this season, it's been Marquinhos who shows a shift from Luis Enrique to Galtier. Galtier, he told the centre-backs, give the ball as soon as possible to Verratti. Whilst Lucho is expecting his centre-backs to play make and push up and be part of the game. Long passes, Sergio Ramos was there last season. But this season, it's Marquinhos. Progressive passes, it's Messi. Interestingly, last season, we had to drop deep and create from deep was this season it's been Ashraf Hakimi tackles made once again Marco Verratti but this season it's obviously the pitbull Manuel Ugarte blocks made once again it was Marco Verratti last season but this season it's been Warren Zaremri interceptions Ramos last season this season El Pitbull Manuel Ugarte clearances made once again it was Sergio Ramos and all of these stats show that he actually had an impact for Paris Saint-Germain last season this season though Marquinhos Yellow cards, Marco Verratti last season, this season, Lucas Hernandez. And red cards, Ashraf Hakimi received two red cards last season. And this season, Barcola and Donnarumma take one each. Most substitutes, this is a very interesting stat. Obviously, last season, it was Warren Zara Emre who came on most times last season. And this season, it's been El Pistolero, Gonzalo Ramos. And last but not least, fouled. It was Neymar Jr. who was the most fouled Paris Saint-Germain player last season even though we barely played the entirety of the season and this season he's been Kylian Mbappé and to end this video I want to show you this interesting graph from PSG last season to PSG this season the blue color is last season and the pink is this season as you can see physicality last season was much better defending this season counters this season possession nearly the same attacking nearly the same goals nearly the same by expressing that is a big huge difference well, all of these stats show us that Paris Saint-Germain are slightly better at every single thing than PSG last season but in terms of physicality we need to improve and I think that is mostly about the midfield I mean Verratti used to win most of his duels and now we have players like Vitinha Ugarte in bad form Asensio there in the midfield Fabian Ruiz who don't win most of their duels and that's been it for Paris Saint-Germain stat leaders let me know in the comments down below which stat surprised you the most and that's been it from your boy PSG and as usual allez 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 Paris